let's start with section number five, which is the last one on this block, TD2. We're talking about pure substances. And before actually going to the first law, which is next block, TD3, I wanted to give you an insight on enthalpy and some other heat effects relating to heat enthalpy. And I know I we're commenting something about enthalpy and all those concepts. And this is time to actually study the meaning of enthalpy. Probably you were asking yourself what's enthalpy. And I remember myself when I was a student, I didn't really realize what was enthalpy. Uh, in my chemistry classes it was okay. It wasn't that problem at all because they told me it was heat. But once you're studying heat and work and change on internal energy and change on enthalpy, and they tell you this is a state function and this is a tri uh, or a path function, you get start, you are actually getting uh, curious on what exactly is each one of them and why do we actually have this enthalpy thing. And let me read you this one here. Enthalpy is a very important concept in thermodynamics. Actually, this is true at all. We're going to be basing almost all of our studies in enthalpy because enthalpy many times relates heat or even work and not only that you may be also playing and sometimes the internal energy will be equal to the change on enthalpy and you have a lot of this type of uh, exercises where my personal opinion is you need to practice a lot of problems to really really understand the difference uh, if I tell you the concept as far as I may tell you, you will not actually get the difference. So you need to practice a lot of pro uh, problems. But in theory, yeah, first thing first, you need to know what is enthalpy and then you apply it and then you get the concept. Enthalpy is mathematically just this variable, which is internal energy plus the product of pressure and volume. And I love one teacher which told me one day I was in this I think I don't remember I was in a room or a hall I don't remember and she came she was my thermodynamics teacher and told me what are you doing there and I was I'm reading the meaning of enthalpy I I actually don't get it I need to read it and read it and I do not get it and she told me enthalpy has no meaning at all it's an abstract concept you may not actually see enthalpy you may not uh, Let's say, calculate that. We calculate it via internal energy, and changes in pressure and volume, but actually enthalpy is not a factual value. It's just, she told me that it's uh, an invented value, which is very, very practical to use. And to this date, I do think this is a good uh, description. It is a invented value because it's similar to that internal energy, but then when you're using open systems, you will see that in open systems, you're going to have a lot of these PV values. And then you will see that it's kind of convenient to use internal energy and this PV value for open systems. Other meaning or other definition I found and I liked is this one here. Enthalpy is essentially a quantity that we associate with thermodynamic systems. So first thing first, thermodynamic systems. What's that? You should know by now what's a thermodynamic system. It is expressed as the internal energy of a system plus the product of the pressure and volume of the system. As I told you, uh, this has no meaning at all. Internal energy plus pressure and volume, well, doesn't make that much sense. Sometimes, for example, in open systems at constant pressure, well, it do make sense. It will be heat applied to the system. But in other cases, it is literally what it sounds. It's internal energy plus the product of pressure and volume. And not only that, the system uh, having the property that during an isobaric process, as I told you before, is this system that if you were to do it at constant pressure, the change in this quantity, I mean enthalpy, so the change in enthalpy, is equal to that of the heat transfer. So heat may be calculated. Yes, it's easier to calculate heat in some cases. And in this case, let's say you are forcing this 
system to be constant pressure and therefore when you calculate the heat which you may calculate very easily you will know that this is the actual change in properties so this is a change and this is a value that's very important guys that's essentially the difference on heat and enthalpy is that enthalpy is a state function and heat is a path function so it's this is a value and this will be a change of values more on enthalpy will be enthalpy is an extensive value which means that it depends on the amount of mass so you have one kilogram you will have one enthalpy you have 10 kilograms you will have 10 times that enthalpy so it's containing the matter as you, as you could say or in the mass enthalpy is a state of function which means that if you are at certain temperature and pressure and if you go to another temperature 2 and pressure 2 and you go back to temperature 1 and pressure 1 the enthalpy will be the same so the change in enthalpy even though you change from one state to second state when you change from the second state to the first state you're going to have the same enthalpy guys and this is very important because it's not the same with heat if you go from 0.1 to 0.2 you will have one heat if you go from 0.2 to 0.1 you're going to have another heat value so that's the difference between these changes on enthalpy and heat enthalpy in many cases at constant pressure will give you the amount of heat needed to heat that process of course so as I told you before we are forcing the definition so if I tell you this well of course is that the case because I'm forcing the definition that is a system in which the pressure is constant then my change of this magical property will be the heat and many times I'm not telling you that this is the case and we're going to see that especially in the next block in this first law I will tell you that enthalpy is in many cases the change on this enthalpy will give you the negative work of a system required or or maybe even will tell you heat plus the work needed will give you a change on enthalpy and so on which is pretty awesome I think because this is so versatile and so let's say the guy that can come up with enthalpy is a very creative genius so let me give you one last slide I know this video is relatively long but I think it's worth it so you get the idea on what's enthalpy so imagine enthalpy actually this is one of my favorite teachers probably you've seen him before Khan Academy this guy tells essentially that enthalpy is a state function which I already told you of heat content essentially because at constant pressure they saw that this value will give you the heat content so if we force that again we can say that enthalpy is related to heat content more enthalpy will give you of course more heat requirements so if you want to heat one object you will need to change the enthalpy of that object less enthalpy will not require that much heat that makes sense and very importantly enthalpy is in general temperature dependent so you may memorize that by heart or by logic we're going to see that later the only moment in which is not temperature dependent is when you are in equilibrium which is of course a very special case you know equilibrium is a way other special case when you have liquid and then it's going to turn out into vapor and you have a phase change you will see that this phase change will be 100 celsius if you are using water and the heat enthalpy or the heat uh, or the enthalpy the change on enthalpy will be of course one number even though the temperature is static so that's I don't want you to learn that much this expression enthalpy is temperature dependent because if I tell you what happens when substance A goes to substance B and has a phase change well you know phase changes have no uh, how to say change in temperature and you will say well because it has no change in temperature the enthalpy zero no guys that's not the reason so just try to figure out 
and review this video I really really recommend you to watch it again and don't believe in myself go and check out other websites such as Wikipedia uh, the engineering toolbox maybe they have some definitions and many many others probably you will see here if you're using YouTube you may check out literally just write what's enthalpy and check out what do you think I think in general what I've told you is very very useful for this course many times you will not find the definition of enthalpy for uh, thermodynamics or engineering thermodynamics and I think this definition is pretty pretty well for engineering thermodynamics so I'm going to stop the video because we're going to see in the next topic sensible heat or sensible enthalpy What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues, or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.